I am going to review our Kenmore glass top range that we bought six months ago. Here is what I like about it. The controls are intuitive and easy to use. It does a nice job of cooking with this flat top surface area. A nice thing about the flat top cooking surface is you don't have to worry about spilling a pot because it went to the edge of an element. The, 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 your pots are going to sit flat no matter where you put them on here. The oven works great. The convection feature of the oven works well for faster baking. The white finish is bright and easy to clean. The top can be given a basic cleaning very quickly and looks good from a distance. Now for what I don't like. Number one problem is the top is hard to clean perfectly. Now it looks fine in this shot, but wait until I turn on the overhead light and give you a close up look at it. Here's one of the problems. So this is baked on, it's actually almost like the glass surface is etched and I can't get any cleaner than this. Now when it's dark or not well lit it doesn't show up, but you turn on the overhead light and you realize just how how rough this surface really is and it I really can't get any cleaner than this. It's well known that cleaning the glass tops on these is hard. In fact, here's a cleaning product meant for cleaning these things. They wouldn't sell products like this if everybody didn't have this problem. And even though it's supposedly a special cleaner, I can't get the top any cleaner than what you see here. Replacing a failed burner on this oven could be very difficult. Um, I, there are a number of YouTubes on the internet that show how to, how to replace one of these elements which means it must be pretty tough compared to the good old-fashioned element where you could just remove it and put in a new one. When the delivery man brought this oven, the first words out of his mouth was, I'll be back in five years when this one fails. And he meant it when he said it. So this is a bad sign for long-term reliability when a delivery man tells you he's going to be back. Another problem with this style of glass top is it takes a while for the heat to get through. So when you turn on the element, it's going to take a while before the pot sitting on top gets hot. So it's slower than a conventional stove top would have been. In conclusion, if you want a glass top range, I would recommend this one. However, for long term reliability, value, and ease of repair, you should consider a conventional old school range with removable elements.